Welcome, my Mercurial Mercenaries. Welcome for a playthrough, a first listen to an album that a lot of you have wanted me to listen to over the last few months. This is, I thought it was a girl called Melody and her album Echo Chamber, but it turns out it, she's called Melody's Echo Chamber. Correct me if I'm wrong, I haven't Wikipedia'd her, I haven't looked into her at all, so to speak, not sexually. I know nothing about her, at all my mercenaries. That's the wrong thing to do when you're trying to talk over some music because I should have some facts to give you, but I got nothing. I got... I got nothing for you. I got nothing for you. Just listen to this album together and see what we can make of it together. Maybe you haven't heard it either. We can decide what we think together. Just playing with my little finger like that. Well, mercenaries, melodies, echo, chamber. Okay, sounds like 80s, 90s indie so far. So far as in the first five seconds. Uh, what we got here? I was wrong when you were gone. Five percent. Sounds like some impel in my mercenaries. Okay. Oh, I like dreamy. Dreamy vocals like this. I like a decent uh, female fronted band by Mercedes. Reminds me of my kind of era. With Elastica. An echo belly and sleeper. I heard today actually that sleeper are releasing a new album. The first album in like whatever it is, 20 years. I like it when an environment's created where old fans feel like they can still put something out there. I've told the stories before, but I was playing in bands back in those days, and hanging out in clubs, and we referred to the singers of those bands I've just talked about. You had Sonia Echo Belly, you had Justine Elastica, who knows what their real surnames were, didn't matter. Sonia Madsen, Justin Frieschman, Louise Wiener, I said Wiener, I said Wiener. Louise Sleeper, Justin Elastica, like that. It's like a guitar solo. Sounds like a suede guitar solo. Holy hell, it's Bernard Butler in the house, my mercenaries. 
Okay, I can see why you said them, I like this. Very Brit pop even, Mercenaries. I am in 1994, 95 right now. Okay, I am indeed. Oh yes, I like it. Run your drums through distortions, filters. Drums that sound like Atari uh, 2600s from 1979. <laughs> Is this girl swimmingly cute? she is. And I would assume that she's the kind of girl who, um, see if you agree with this one, see if you agree with me on this one of those things. Women, on the whole, do not like to be called cute. They take it as an insult. And yet I've never ever meant it as an insult. I can be intelligent, sexy, professional, powerful, and yet in my eyes they can still be cute. Oh. What the fuck do I know, the mercenaries? What the fuck do I know? That bass line is great, it's all over the shop. Kind of Beatles guitar line. A bass line that's just... The bass line's kind of playing football with itself. The drums are whatever. And she's doing the swimming vocals. Dun, 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 fizzle out, fizzle out. Fizzle out.
sounds like to Impala and MGMT reversaries. Santetti and vocals on top. Holy shit, she was hot on Mercenaries. And he used some Etienne fans. Sarah. Cracknell. We're back on to my getting in trouble for the squad and winning this cute thing. Cute can be sexy as well. You think I'm cute? Sound breaking. Oh yeah, all right. I'll take that.
That's a nice one. Okay. Melee, major to minor. This is good, this is alright, this is alright. Jebba. Sounds like some implement on mercenaries. Jumbo Morris Minor in the Majors, the Stutter Rap. Not sure you can release that song today. Okay, okay. This is the early 90s on Mercenaries. Miss Melody's Echo Chamber. Does she have a hankering for the 90s on Mercedes? You tell me. You know better than I do. Yeah, I like the changes between major and minor. Very powerful bass. That's, um, that's very MGMT. Perhaps after that first MGMT album came out. Everyone thought that's what the world needs. Gotta say this girl. I would suggest this girl is a fan of early 90s indie music. Oh, that surprised me when I went to a different note than I thought it was going to go to. To do this one, Mercenaries. Imagine how better it sounded than me and Boy just go. How long do I have to do that for before you get fucking annoyed with me? in the old days and uh, everyone would see everyone else. Groups of friends going to different clubs but the same clubs on certain nights. A certain club on a Thursday, a certain club on a Friday, a certain club on a Saturday. And the views of today, the views of today is probably the same right now. And different sets of friends constantly see other sets of their groups of friends but never the twain shall meet they'll talk and see each other from afar and there was a girl we used to always see out who looked a bit like the singer of elastica so we call her justine And there was a girl she always used to hang around with. It's only coming back to me now. I haven't thought about this for 20 years, 30 years, whatever it is. Um, she always used to hang around with a lanky, skinny bloke. And we used to call him Brett. After Brett Anderson, the singer of Suede. He wasn't Brett Anderson, the singer of Suede. He just looked, he just looked mildly like him. And we'd say, oh look, there's Justine and Brett over there. And that 
after months and months of this, you know it is, after years of this maybe, months and months of this. I got drunk, like I always was, probably on Newcastle Brown or Jack Daniels. Well, like that. Bass is good on this one, Mercenaries. Who's playing the bass? Very good. Very good. Very good. I like it. It's a sonic. It's a sonic landscape that's been created here. And this girl's Melody's Echo Chamber. Strange name. Like I say, it's a bit strange name for a mother to give her on a birth certificate. What are we going to call her? Because they're not lifting the baby up by its feet, slapping its bare ass. Let's call her Melody's Echo Chamber. But she's just swimming over the top of it. In. Ooh. Ooh, the bait. Ooh. Wow, the bass just suddenly gave the timing a different feel there. Suddenly went a bit Yoshimi Battles of Pink Robots. Okay, I like that. I like that. I like that very much. I... Wow. This is 90s, early 90s indie with Mercenaries. For a minute then I thought we were listening to James again. Come home by James. Come home. Come home. Come home to me, Melody. Come home. Come home. Come home to me. Bass, no bass. Sometimes, a la All Right Now by Free, the power is in the places where you don't have the bass. All Right Now by Free is interesting because there's no bass in the verses. And when the bass enters on the chorus, it feels like the world has just embraced you and fucking licked your face. See, it comes back in, and it feels like the world is just hugging you, hugging you. It 
So I plucked up the courage to go and speak to Justine. I walked over and I said, hi Justine. And she said, I said, oh yeah, I like that. I like that. Sounds like a time back in a helicopter take off in Melody's song. I thought I might accidentally hit the right note, but I didn't. What, the, what, what note do you reckon that is on Mercury? Let's try an E. An E. Oh, that works. Oh yeah. Why didn't I just go for an E in the first place for mercenaries? E's a good, E's a good. Is that an E's a good? E's a good, E's a good. Is that an E's a good? I say, we're talking about the right era for that gag like that. I mean, not being a gag. What do you think? Why is it? I should be gag. I should be gagged, yeah? Oh. I know a lot of people think, why is this us? Oh, I don't do that. Lots of you think I know. Oh, stranglers. Golden brown, texture like sun. He's the one, don't know the words I know. This is, uh, this is the stranglers, isn't it, my most recent? Oh, this is the say. This is the stranglers. What key do you reckon this is in my mercenaries? It's not E again, is it? Maybe, maybe C. C? Should we try it? C works. It's not C. It works. That doesn't work. A. Yeah, A. Well, that works. Just call them, but it works. There we go again with that amazing bass. Stranglers one mercenaries. I mean the Stranglers that sounds nothing like the Stranglers mind. The Stranglers uh, did not did not have a cute singer. Can you find out what key this is doing? Let's try um let's go for uh, an F, alright? I mean, if I could, it's hard to work it out when it's playing. Right? Right. Yeah. Yes, that works. That worked. What they missed, they missed a trick in the most trees. They could have employed me to just do a bit of uh, beer bottle boxing. <laughs> random notes on the keyboard. So we could have um we could have um I mean I need to do 
drink some more beer to get that in tune, hang on. More drums sound like explosions. Oh! Oh, this sounds like yes when they're singing. song I keep referring to on Fragile by Yes, which is John Anderson's solo piece on it. Wow, overall. Oh, here we go. Oh, a little off beat there. Drop beat. I like drop beats. Oh, I like that. I like that. So we're talking massive sounding texture synths with distorted drum beats and busy bass lines with dreamy vocals over the top. Like, I would like what she looks like. I don't know if that's right or wrong. This sounds like too implement on mercenaries. So I said to Justine, me and my mates. I should have said my mates and I, but Newcastle Brown, whiskey. Me and my mates call you Justine. And she said, I love you, I bounced in her face, mine. And I said, and we call him over there, Brett. Because he looks a little bit like Brett Anderson. And she went, oh yeah, yeah, whatever. I said, have you got a boyfriend? And she said, yeah, I go out with Brett. That's my luck on this. I must tell you the horse girl story one day. I oh, like that. Oh, we got a guitar solo. I don't want to talk over a guitar solo. This sounds like the world is exploding in fucking joy. I told the horse story when I was drunk on the on the Brian Adams video and then in the edit I realised I had to edit it in the edit I realised I had to edit the only time I've ever edited any of these videos I mean edit the stuff out one sober day I'm trying to tell you stuff so Justine says to me um yeah, yeah, we've got names for you two. We've got names for you two. She didn't mean Bono. Bono. Nuclear explosion. Three things survive. Cockroaches. This Casio watch. And Bono's ego. It's my recurring joke, I always tell you. So she says, I've got names for you two. And I said, oh really? And she goes, yeah, we all call you Bobby. Said, we all, with all of our friends, from afar, called me Bobby. I said, Bobby? And she goes, yeah, you look like Bobby Gillespie. Bobby Gillespie, singer of Primal Scream. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that. We're talking washes, washes of synth, straight distorted drum beats and busy bass lines. This is a constant through this album and dreamy vocals on top. Back then I had long straight hair 
Uh, long straight brown, not grey or receding, long straight brown hair which I could touch, I could pull it and touch it onto my nipples. And I was skinny back then, I used to wear big baggy shirts and stuff. So I thought, I asked my mate, so I went back to my mate and then... Um... Oh! Backward! Backward frenetic shit, my merchants. Backwards frenetic shit. Holy crap, what's this? Sure enough, I went back to my mates and I said, she calls, her, she calls me Bobby. And they all went, oh yeah, yeah, you do look like Bobby Gillespie. Bobby Gillespie wasn't a good looking bloke in mercenaries. Although right now, I would take my youth. I would take my youth. I'd have my youth back. Any fans of the Stone Roses out there? There's a song on the Stone Roses album that they... There's a song on the album that is then played backwards and sung with different lyrics. So it's the same song twice. I would say Stroke of Genius. It's better than this one, Mercenaries. I'm not sure why this is being inflicted upon me. Is this a punishment for my Bobby Gillespie story? Is this a fucking punishment? What the fuck is this? You know how sometimes I say I don't value your time? I just talk bollocks and you have to sit through my bollocks. What the fuck is this one, mercenaries? I don't like this. I don't like this. I mean, it might be the. It might be. I think it might be that Tesky. Maybe that Tesky doesn't like this. The Bakura number six might like it. Oh, blimey. I'm not sure I like that. I'm not sure I like that. Ooh. Oh, it sounds better. We're back. We're back on Mercenaries. Oh. There was a time. There was a time when this sound was so in fashion. And it was the 90s. Skitty jazz beats. Is that English? Listen, let me listen. It sounds like she's singing Ness and Dorma. Sounds French, my mercenaries. It sounds like she's singing in French. Why is she singing in French, my mercenaries? Two, three, one, two, three. This is a weird kind of waltz. And it sounds French, even the music sounds French. Please don't tell me if I look this girl up that she's French. My mercenaries. Are you gonna tell me? Hang on a minute. Are you gonna tell me that? Melody's Echo Chamber is the main project of French musician Melody Crochet. Can I just 
say now, and this is irrelevant of listening to this album, that Melody is my favourite girl's name. French. I think I say that because it sounds a little bit like the soundtrack to uh, the Jess on Visage, the film that I could never play for you. Ooh. Which was uh, written by the son of uh, Jean Michel Jarre. Which was written by the father of Jean Michel Jarre. Uh, radiophonic workshop. Which band was it that like, said that it sounded like they kept dropping a Fender Twin Reverb? It was either Timimpler or uh, King Gizzard. I think it was King Gizzard and the Wizard. Lizard Wizard. King Gizzard! Um, they had a song. Which, which album was it on? It might be Flying Michael Tone or Banana, I can't remember. But there was a song that just kept dropping a Fender Twin Reaver. I need to watch all my videos again to find out which song it was. You get the, you get the idea. That's good. That's good. God, isn't it quiet when there's no music playing? Whoa! Holy crap! It's that same drum sound. I was saying there was a period in the 90s where sort of skittish jazz drums like this were were in. And I remember there was a song by a band called Skinny. Do you remember them? Skinny? They had one hit single. Hit. It wasn't a hit. And I thought, um, why have I always been a failure? Why have I always been a failure? It was a sample of a song, I think from a musical. I went to Glastonbury in 99, and I think bands like uh, R.E.M. and Manic Street Preachers were headlining it. So I made, I made my mate, Skinny, were playing in a, in a crappy little side tent somewhere. And I said to my mate, we've got to go and watch Skinny. And we did, and they were great. They were great. I also watched the Cardigans live that year. And she was hot. She had a similar sing singing style to this one, Mercenaries. Singer of the Cardigans, remember her? Is she just counting in French? 
under twa cat sang seats that we not these horse juice chairs kettles cans What key do you reckon this is in? It sounds like the key of C, but I am going wrong. Be quiet. Works. See works. I'll tell you what, one of my favourite melodies <laughs> is I've used that melody for a couple of my own songs. And I and I wrote those songs in 1997. Not sure. I'm not sure. What year this album's from. Wow. Wow. Is that is that the album? Okay, my mercenaries. We've just listened to Melody's Echo Chamber. I'm not sure what the name of the album is. Let's just call it Melody's Echo Chamber, my mercenaries. And overall, I enjoyed that. It was very, very, very 90s British indie. Even though I just found out she's French. Doesn't change anything. I heard Sinatien. Oh, the French. The French sounds French. No, for Sinatien weren't French. Sarah Cracknell wasn't French. Uh, I liked that. I said again and again that it was... Uh, straight distorted drumming, which I like, very 90s style drumming. Busy bass lines, massive walls of synthesizer, and dreamy vocals over the top. All in all, I thought that was really good. There was a backwards song that I did not need, and the backwards song reduces the score, but overall, it was better than average. It was about there, the mercenaries, and that's about. Probably 10 o'clock, my mercenaries. Let me know what you thought down below. Did you like that album? Did you not like that album? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Give this video, if you liked it, a thumbs up. Give it, if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, then if you haven't subscribed, I'm not sure why you're watching this because no one watches this channel other than my subscribers. But if you want to subscribe to see more of this absolute shit and detritus, then subscribe. If you didn't like this and don't want to see any more of it, then Please unsubscribe. And as I said in a few videos recently, uh, I feel like we've got a real to and fro going on. Or, or at least I feel that by doing this channel, I have friends, even if you're fake friends. Over. And.